Today we'll uh, discuss in details about everything. So we are starting off with mammals. Okay. okay mam so firstly, we'll uh, study about mammals and their features. Okay. Okay. So mammals, their first feature is mammals feature. So their first feature is they have hair on the body on their body then mammals are warm blooded why they are warm blooded do you have any idea uh, mom, I don't know what is warm-blooded. Okay. They, mammals are warm-blooded. Hence, this the meaning of warm-blooded is that they can regulate temperature. Mom, regulate means they can maintain, right? Yes, yes. They can feel the cold. They can feel the warmth. They can regulate temperatures. Then they have sweat glands. Sweat glands to cool body by. Can the elephants have sweat glands? Who? Elephants. Yes, they also have. Oh, I thought they won't sweat. They sweat. Okay. Taking heat. From the body. Then next feature is that mammals give. I'm taking heat from the body means uh, put, putting out the heat, right? Putting out the heat and uh, cool down the temperature of the body. So for cooling, I mean sweat releases, right? Yeah. So sweat glands helps the body to release sweat to cool down the body. Yes, ma'am. Sometimes when we play a lot and sometimes uh, in very rare cases we won't sweat, we feel very hot. Yes, yes, correct. So next is they give birth to young ones. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So the next feature is they have memory glands. To feed the young ones. Next is mammals have four legs to walk on. Then they have more developed brain than 
other. Then they have more developed brain than the other. The next is they have mammals have flippers and fins if aquatic instead of legs for swimming. Do you know uh, which is the smallest mammal? Are you writing? Still writing? Yes, no, I'm done. Okay. So, dash is the smallest mammal and the size is, size is less than 2 centimeter. So, can you tell me which is the smallest mammal? Ma'am, is the size less than or a length less than? The size. Size means length. Length okay. and breadth. Length and breadth constitute the size. So, can you tell me who, which is the smallest mammal? No, no, I don't know. It's very easy. Can you guess? Yeah. No, mm -hmm. it's less than two centimeters, so nearby two centimeter. It can. I don't know, mom. Okay, it's bat. Oh, it is less than two centimeters. Yes, yes. Oh, it's so small. Yes. So. And tell me, Dash is the biggest mammal. Elephant. It can be aquatic also. Um, biggest mammal of all. Um, whale. Blue whale. Blue whale. Blue. Uh, 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 Hashika, for a second, I won't speak much, okay? I, I'll keep it, I'm keeping you on mute. What, ma'am? Ma'am, you're on mute. I have kept you on mute uh, just for a second because uh, there's some noise at my place. Okay, so, ma'am. Yeah. So, it is blue wave. So, uh, I'll just tell you about types of mammals, okay? Okay. So, now next thing, we'll study the types of mammals. So, first is... Whale, just a second, uh, Harshika. Okay. Yes, sir. to um, 
whale, dolphin. So they live in water. Now these are the two only two mammals, aquatic mammals. No, there are others also. Yeah, um, there those are amphibians and. Uh, so firstly we are speaking about these two then we will speak about others yes ma'am i know but in a yes in yes yes these, these two okay so whale dolphin they live in water they have a layer of Whale, dolphin, and one more you can write. It's even I have not heard of this a lot. Or poises. Ma'am, only these three are there. Yes, yes. They have a layer of adipose tissue. under their skin now what is adipose adipose i mean it's a layer of tissue uh, under under the skin okay so the name is adipose the tissue name you have a larger adipose Huh? They have a layer. Yes. They have hard body, you know, whale, dolphin, their body is, outer body is very hard. Yeah. Right. So they have various layers inside uh, their body. So they, they are saying that they have a layer of adipose tissue under the skin. And the feature of this tissue is that to keep them warm. Ma'am, so for everyone, uh, for only for the dolphin and whale, they have a tissue called adipose under the yes. skin, right? Yes, yes. To keep them warm instead of instead of fur. They come to the surface they don't have uh, they don't have hair or do they have hair have you noticed that their body whale and dolphin all of them they have a very smooth body yeah right so that's why adipose tissues is used to keep them warm yes ma'am so do they have hair or not no then how can we call them? Less. 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 Very yeah. little. Very little. Less than other mammals. Okay. Yes. Tell me when to move on next page. Yes, ma'am, you can move. Okay. So, they come to the surface. They come to the surface for breathing. And they have nostril on the head. On the head. And how many minutes can they suffer? They can they be in the water without air? Minutes, I cannot confirm right now, but I'll tell you later on. So, uh, just keep that in mind. I mean, remind okay. me later on when the class is over. I'll tell you to, uh, in the next class. Okay. So, second type of mammal uh, we are speaking about is seal. Seal. 
So, and this is also an aquatic animal or an Yeah, marine. Yes, marine. Marine mammal. It have a streamlined body. Which is adapted to marine living these animals seal have fatty blubber now what is actually streamlined body streamlined is i mean um, i mean a correct posture streamlined they have fatty blubber under their skin to keep them warm. And streamlined body means they have the correct posture, right? Correct. Yes. Streamlined body. Streamlined body adapted to marine living. Whatever the features that marine animals have, so they have been adapted to those, those features. Okay. Then these seals, they have fatty blubber under their skin to keep them warm. Blubber is also a tissue? Yes. Okay. Continue. Okay. So next, we are speaking about the third uh, type of mammals. Third is kangaroo, koala, and Wombats. We speak about them. So these give birth to underdeveloped. underdeveloped babies which stay in pouch until they become fully developed and what is underdeveloped underdeveloped means which is developing which okay. is under development um they give birth before they are developed inside the body right you mean like that it means that after giving birth, they kept inside the body of their mother, like in a pouch, as you have seen kangaroo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it is kept inside the pouch because it's not, uh, uh, the baby is not developed much. Small. It's small. Okay, it's very small. It won't be stiff. So they, every, uh, so everything gives birth.
developed on underdeveloped babies, right? But this is the feature of kangaroo, koala, and wombats only that they are underdeveloped. So underdeveloped babies means very infant types, infants, which are very oh. small. So very small. Okay. Yes. So till the time they stay, uh, as they said that, which stays in the pouch until they become fully developed. So the pouch have. Let me know when to move to uh, move on to next. Yes, ma'am, you can move. Okay. So the pouch have. Mammary gland to feed the babies. Okay. So next we we'll, uh, the next type we we'll talk about. Squirrel, mice, porcupine, and rodents. So, all these have, they have. Large incisor teeth to gnaw nuts, or you can see to cut nuts to eat nuts, eat. Like they keep on chewing it so it breaks, right? Yes, yes. They keep on uh, picking, uh, poking on the nut so that it can open and they can eat that. Yeah. Nuts and wood. So, these squirrels have... And they even eat wood? No, they, they won't eat wood, but... Uh, have you seen mice? What does they do? They, they keep so they to make holes, right? They eat. Uh, they um, I mean, keep on poking the wood, destroy the uh, I mean, day to day furniture also, which we use. Yeah. They cut the doors. Cut it with their teeth. Because with their teeth. Grow. Yes, correct. Grow their incisors. Yes. So, so squirrels have long bushy tail whereas Mice have long, thin tail. And, uh, Porcupine has sharp quills on the body. Porcupine, uh, uh, can you tell that why porcupine has sharp quills on the body? Um, For to protect itself. Yes. Correct for protection.
तो द नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी इज फॉर Platypus and Echidna. The feature is they lay eggs. The body is. Hatched. And uh, black it is an echidna. Yes, echidna. They lay eggs. Body is hatched from the egg. Then it licks milk. from let me know i'll move to next sheet yeah you can okay it licks milk <coughs> sorry from its mother belly then the last category which we speak about is human ape monkey gorilla primates so the feature is they have well developed hand and legs with finger and toes they have opposable thumb for grabbing things they have highly developed brain they can develop oh man i can't uh, understand opposite thumb means It's opposable thumb. I mean, it says that uh, they are speaking about humans also. So, opposable thumb for grabbing things means suppose if we only have fingers, then we won't be able to grasp anything, right? Yeah, what is opposable, ma'am? Opposable means in the opposite direction. in the opposite direction of the fingers the thumb is right right i can't understand ma'am suppose you are you are uh, grasping uh, you are grabbing a um, glass a glass of water so when you grasp a glass of water yes so one side is the thumb 
and the on the other side are the fingers yeah we can't grasp it like this it will yes so it says that on the oppos opposable thumb means on the opposite side of the fingers so it's opposing the fingers okay opposite side so that's why you i mean humans or monkeys or apes or uh, the category they can they are able to grab things right yeah understood okay then they have highly developed brain and they develop complex language so let me know when you are done so we'll uh, move on to next done, topic i'm done done yeah okay so we are uh, finishing uh, finished with the topic of types of mammals so now we are moving on to other topic which is i have one doubt yes tell me ma'am what is complex language complex language means we have different language right and if we understood one we are not able to understand every language because the person who is who lives in south is not yeah, able we can, we can develop uh, we can we can develop many languages like english tamil hindi telugu kannada like that right right so all the uh, languages they are different so that's why they are meant complex otherwise yeah next topic is adaptation adaptation in mammals so the first point is hibernation do you understand what is hibernation um hibernation means sleeping all through winter yes correct so squirrels mice uh harshika from uh, today onwards your school have been started or you were previously also i mean uh, going for the classes for the school so one week i was going okay but now they actually increase the timings for okay. one week i was going it ended at 11:30 now they increase the timings so when did you reach home at what time actually i reached at 11:30 but after an online they are taking so okay so the online is finished at what time that uh, some uh, tomorrow only but we don't have class tomorrow uh, usually mm -hmm. on monday it will finish at 2:30 at 2:30 okay so uh, okay now we'll be meeting on wednesday so then at that time i mean let me know if 2 uh, o'clock the class would be otherwise at 3 okay yeah, i will see if tomorrow they they may have some times like that it will be i'll uh, even Online. even i'll uh, i mean you also contact the institute and tell them that to add you on my triple si app so that whatever i mean if i have to uh, say you something or you have to tell me then you you can message me on the triple si app okay ma'am i actually uh, i they actually sent me i mm -hmm. try to download it in the laptop but it's not coming so i asked them they told me to guide you first attend the class today okay okay day. okay okay so hibernation is squirrels mice and polar bear etc they go underground underground or in burrows 
to avoid extreme cold. Ma'am, in India, the hibernation happen. What else? Ma'am, in Hind in in India, will have the hibernation happen? Yes, happen. It can happen. Okay. So, um, it's to avoid extreme cold condition in winters. So, this is an adaptation to weather. Now next, should I move to the next sheet? No, I'm done. Okay. So next is stripes on the body. Who have stripes on the body? Which animal? Um, stripes. Zebras. Zebras and? Tigers. Tigers and? Um, cheetahs. Correct. So yeah. tiger. Zebra and cheetah, they have stripes on their body. So, what does stripes do? I mean, yeah, to help them camouflage. And uh, it helps them to hide among grasses, leaves, so that they can easily Kill their prey. Okay. So they hide themselves, and when yes, ma'am. Yes, they hide themselves so that they can easily kill the prey. Okay. okay. So it helps them. For to catch the prey and for self protection. Yes, ma'am. For the zebra, it is it all helps to self protection. Yes. And uh, for tiger and cheetah, catch to the catch prey. the prey. Yes, for self protection and tiger. And cheetah is for catching prey. Next is sharp pines. On the body. So, who have sharp spine? Um, we, 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 yes, correct. We discussed before also. So, okay, for, and some other thing also is that I think. I was about to tell you about porcupine only. The porcupine have sharp spines all over the body and it helps them to protect themselves from the 
enemies to protect themselves from their enemies. Should I move to next sheet? Yes, ma'am. I'm just writing with you. Okay. So, the next one is prehensile tail and Ma'am, what is that? I'll I'll make you understand. Okay. So this is the topic. I mean this is the Pre teacher. Pre Pre prehensile tail and opposable thumb. So monkeys, chimpanzee. They live on trees and have prehensile tail and opposable thumb. To hold branches of trees branches of the trees so it is adaptation of aerial habitat they have opposable thumb so that they can hold the branch of the tree and prehensile tail means the tail which, which can grasp the branch, which can fold over the branch so that it can tight, yes, it can tightly hold the branch. I can't understand. Uh, uh, when uh, prehensile means, I mean to Roll over the branch. To uh, okay, so can, roll over can roll over the branch so that they they hold on the branch. They hold on to the okay. branch. Okay. Yeah, in some cartoons, monkeys will be shown like the tail will be rolled on. The rolled down. Yes. Down. Yes. So next is feeding in mammals. Feeding in mammals. So, deer, goat, cow, squirrel, rat. Etc. are herbivore. Which eat only plant and plant products. Let me know when to move next.
Yes, ma'am. Yes. Should I move to next? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, uh, so this is herbivore, which can eat only plant and plant products. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So next, like tiger, lion, cheetah, etc., are carnivore, carnivorous animals. they feed on which feed on other animals okay. and last is omnivores so human beings human being is omnivorous as it eats both plant but i am herbivore you are a herbivore even i am a herbivore i am also a herbivore because Actually, i i am a vegetarian like i don't I'm even eat white. Okay. I only eat the white color, not the yellow. Like not the like. yellow. Okay, because uh, even I won't eat egg also. Oh. Yes. So, uh, next is uh, migration in mammals. What is migration? Migration is to move from one place to other. Oh, it's the birds. Yes, so whales, whales migrate from warm, warm tropical waters far north or um, whales migrate from warm to warm tropical, tropical waters far warm tropical waters from warm tropical waters far north or south for the brief summer brief means sometime short period for the brief summer where food is in excess food is in excess Yes, I have a question for you. So I'm just uh, uh, speaking that question. I'm not writing. Okay. So giraffe is a mammal and all mammals, including humans, have same number of bones on neck. So how many bones are present in its neck? So I'm writing the four options. Seven, 
eight, nine, six. Um, maybe nine. The answer is seven. A giraffe has seven bones in its neck, just like other mammal, but the giraffe's neck bone are much longer. Okay, the neck bone are much longer, so that's why giraffe neck is very long. Neck, seven mm -hmm. bones are like other mammals, but its bones in the neck are longer, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, do you know by the age of six, a child? A child knows more than dash different words. Can you tell me, I mean, uh, what are the numbers? Can you guess? Maybe thousand. Okay. It's more than 1,000. 10,000? No, it's very much. <laughs> One answer, lakh? No, no, it's very, very much. The answer is 2,500. 2,500. So by the age of six, a child knows more than 2,500 different words. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, Harshika, now we'll meet on Wednesday. Okay. Okay, so um, uh, I I'll, learned. yeah, so Today what I else? learned a lot. Good. So, um, I mean, you can also uh, tell uh, the institute to add you on the triple SI link. And else I'll also inform them because, sure, yes. Okay, so, okay, see you on Wednesday. Okay, ma'am, okay. thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a great day ahead. You too. Bye. Ma'am, bye. Bye.